to DLR's world, a famous place for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little world, if you like that sort of thing. For no apparent reason, there's a mysterious person coming at them into space. That's right, space. One day, DLR, Mickey, Minnie, and Bowser Jr. took their wonderful kids to the park. The kids were very excited. And so, they went out to set up their picnic basket, where the playground was. The kids began to play, and the picnic was all set up. They were sitting and watching the children play before they eat. Baby Mickey was playing in the monkey bars. Baby Hank was was playing in the tire swing. Baby Care Bear was playing on the jungle gym. And Baby Minnie was sliding down in a beautiful slide. I'm so excited for this picnic. I know. It is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm too excited. Hey, do you want to hear this story of what happened to Sally? <gasps> Did she get hurt? Yep. How? Well, let me tell you a story when, Li when Sally wanted to love Linus. Here goes. It all started when Sally and Linus were about to make out. Then Sally said, Bibbies, will you love me forever? Then Linus said, No. Sally cried and ran across the road. And before the green sign showed up, Linus was crying and went to go pick up her body. She was dead. He went to her face and said, I meant to say, I will love you five ever. He's going to say five ever instead of forever. <laughs> like this, folks, if you cry every time. She's all right. Me too. May 3. And Linus really did hurt her feelings. Yeah. He meant to say five ever. Yeah. He's going to say five ever for now instead of forever. Because forever. Uh, just don't know. Well, hopefully. She'll be all right. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, let's forget about the sadness stuff. Let's just watch the kids. Uh, okay. All right. Is everyone set up? Yep. Yep. Oh, wait. Um, I have to go to the bathroom. All right. Hurry up. Yeah. Hurry up. Okay, I will. Alwana Diala, you better take yourself some time. Okay. All right, guys. Let's wait for Diala. Okay. Okay. And that's exactly what she did. She went to the bathroom so that she can also get the whole entire thing over with. A few moments later, yeah.
when she was done at the bathroom, she saw a piece of spicy chicken on top of that person's head. Down the hatch. But when DLR tried to grab it, a mysterious person popped out who's been inside the cloak. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Stop that. No, that's my spicy chicken hat. DLR ate the spicy chicken and gulped the spicy chicken right down. Gulp? Excuse me. And then the mysterious person in a cloak came closer to her. And do you know what happened? It came at her and thrown her into space! Wow! <laughs> grass feels tickly, DLR thought, and the place looks like black and white. And DLR was surprised that her whole entire body was black and white. But then she saw a girl that's been attacked by another mystery person. Somebody help me! DLR tried to rescue her. But the grass keeps on making her fall. DLR wondered what she should do. Suddenly, DLR had stretchable hands. She took the girl and left the guy to eat his dust. Apparently, that strange spicy chicken hat vanishly got her arms to become stretchable. And who knows what else? Well, that completely sucked. I cannot believe I missed it. And I cannot believe that fool girl would rescue her. Hey, uh, boss, I'm back. Whoa, what happened to you? Well, um, I got hit by a few places, like trees and rocks and bushes, but until I got this whole entire cast fixed up. But it's going to be there for him. Well, you better be careful. I know. But, boss, the girl named DLR was up in space that I threw her up. I know. And I saw her rescuing the girl. Oh. Okay, so, boss, how are we going to, like, you know, um, destroy her? Ooh, DLR. I've got a few ideas, and I totally remember DLR. She was a good friend of ours. <laughs> yeah, a very good friend of... Ow! Jeez, what was that for? For being retarded. And that's why you should listen to me. Ugh, but it still hurts. Well, I know, so shut up. Okay, sorry, boss. We are going to collect the crystals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, we've already did. You're right. I totally forgot. But they will never get it back. I have the blue crystal. Wait, where is it? Oh, dang it. I don't have it in my hands. It's in the jewelry. Oh, awesome. Did you spread all of the uh, color crystals? Yes, I did. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, it is. No, wait a minute. You tossed a blue crystal. I did? Yes. I. It's in the map. Oh. And I got the orange one. Did you throw it? Yes. Great. Just great. Just kidding. I have the blue one. You said, I said, but nope, you lied. That was a fake. You suck. Okay, enough about mixing up stuff. The blue crystal is mine, and they are never going to get it back. Well, 
That's pretty much interesting. Now, come on. We gotta go think of another plan. All right. Follow me, my good assistant. Ugh. Okay. Right you covered on that, boss. Ah. <sighs> Thanks for the help, the girl said. Not that I needed it. Oh, you're welcome. I'm DLR. I'm Casey. Ever since those two retards kidnapped the crystals and threw it everywhere, like around here somewhere, some two people are inside those cloaks. They can't just go running into these horrible... Casey was interrupted when Casey was been attacked by a retarded alien. Ew! Gross! Stop it! But before the alien could eat Casey... DLR transported her hand into a boxing glove and smashed the alien into a spectacular fashion. But for no apparent reason, there's this shiny rainbow crystal that appeared out of nowhere. That's it! That's the magic rainbow crystal, Casey explained. That's what exactly she been looking for. Wait, a rainbow crystal? What does that mean? Well, let me tell you a story of how the the, the crystals split apart before it was into a rainbow crystal. Here I go. <laughs> 